West, south, east, Dying north. He can't find the Chen. He can't find anywhere to go and freaking out. Solo's found another courier snipe, Trent. <laughs> that, that has just delivered... That has just uh, delivered the bottle and salve out to FN. Solo might pay for this with his life, but like, he walks into Lil. There's a Chen There's in my Chen. jungle as well. What's going on? Miposhka eats up the Dark Troll, chasing down Solo, but the little skeletons... Okay, there we go. He has the ensnare, but they don't have enough damage just yet. Maybe with King R with a cast forward, they'll find the final click in, and FN will find the first blood. But in the meantime, it's an open lane for no one. Denying range Denying creeps. Denying range creeps. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, Port's over here though. They were waiting to finish off this camp and then immediately solo popped it. So they're on their way bottom. They know this is coming. Well, that creep's gonna die. It's not enough. Not enough. He's so close to level this. six, but this dust, can they slow him down? The battery salt's there, but it doesn't connect in onto Ramses. He finishes off Miposhka with ease and ghost sticks under the tower inside a cage of his own design. The cogs trap him in with Solo, but Solo survives. Head on out. And look at the only hero showing on the map right now. Solo mid is the only hero showing on this entire map. And they go on him. They think it's a free kill, but the Blinking Rapasha kills off one. Solo's still alive. The Death Warden, Dragon Slave will finally secure the kill as King R, he channels that for a long old time. They go into the back end and find the Centaur, though. He up towards top with a Requiem wound up. Oh, that's not what you wanted. You didn't know that the TP was on the back end from Ghost Stick as well. He tries to get himself away from this. Is there no battery assault? There's no mana. Ghost Stick doesn't have it. But this allows no one with the rest of VP to shove in onto tier 2. They have an ancient black dragon. I'd like it to be a granite golem, maybe. But Empire, they're coming in from the back again. They love these kind of wraparound plays. But Meposhka, oh, he baits out the stack storm and field. DKB also by no one. He's trying to get the right clicks in, but now he's doomed up. A couple more clicks into Meposhka will finish him off. But in comes FN and Chappie. FN dying. Oh, he's dead. Ramses finds a secure on that one with another kinetic field and no rage for Chappie. He just infests the lovely melee creep and wanders on Radiant back his merry way. We've got one more level to go here, but it's a ways away at five. At least 18, so. They still see him. Poor sad solo. But that hook shot should have landed. Ghost stick. The disruptor would retreat. I wonder. Just solo buy back here. 30 seconds until respawn time. Rush, uh, Rush. Racks are dying and actually Racks are dead. And jumps past with a nice two-man stomp. stomp. They've got him and now drops a static storm. They've got Chappie as well. Oh, they've caught the three of them. Down they go. The gutter is wide and Empire find out how quick they can slide. King R will try and go set the TP to have a stun. They've got nothing to cancel. No dodge either. He gets himself back to Fountain. But that is still a melee rax falling the way of Team Empire. There, there goes Infest, but it's actually back. He's been lurking so long. Oh, hello, oh, hello. the two-man stompy catches the lifesaver as well. The force down back again, but the Doom is caught. Naposhka's dead, and look at them go. King R is stood outside the cogs. He has a death ward to throw, and now he goes in. Pasha's caught with it, but Ghost Stick's already dead. The Stag Storm dropped the cancel it out, and Witch Doctor on the retreat has a Ghost Scepter to try and save himself. But uh, Can he do it again? Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's happening this time. Fair enough. Centaur Warrior. I, I was thinking during our patch, that Centaur Warrior seems like, like he's got a nicer buildup, right? That ring into Force Staff is actually so good. It's like how you would buy it for your helm, but now it's like this Force Staff thing too. Instead of going for that hood, Lil gets yeah. dropped by FN, but it also forces out the BKB on the north side solo. How many hits does it take to get to the center of a disruptor? Three, apparently, says the life stealer as Ramsey's clinked. Oh god, he's got a cheese, he's got an invis, but the cogs push me away anyway. Yeah, this should be the march. We still have, again, plenty of time. Ooh, or it's, uh, it's one full minute for Shadow Beam, but that's a oh, lot. Oh, go dick. That was your chance. And now he has to walk himself in, but the Hurricane Pipe pushes oh, him nice. back. The Doom is in the back end onto the Clinks, but it's not going to do anything, Trent. Look at the combo here from VP. Static Storm with Requiem. Now what? A couple of hits on the King Arm, but he goes set this up. Chappie trying to munch away at these Ancient Creeps, but he's glimpsed into the GG. Literally, as Empire tap out and say it's not worth playing anymore. They're all dead. <laughs> oh dearie me i love that i think i to have to get out of your one roll these days oh yo is this one slider are we it we're in that's a ramsey slider there are heroes on the map they're going to their lanes enjoy the noises thank, yeah, thank you for the applause thank you for the applause pasha i appreciate it i do appreciate it makes my uh, makes my enjoyment of this so much greater Oh wait! Oh, what happened to the patch? Oh, where where my creep go? Oh oh, oh, oh wait wait a oh, second! This lich guy. Oh oh oh! The new patch is out and there's a dual lane mid. Oh oh oh! oh. This no is one gets to be in very there. common it seems. Wait, hang on a second. Clockwork has four denies. Hello. 
Is he just cogging? Oh, he's just doing his just cog shit. I'm oh, sure. Okay. Like on the way up on the lane. Oh, okay. yeah, sure. You, you, you just even you pad your stats even if the the cogs or the creeps won't path back that way. I was wondering how the hell he got so many. This damage might be enough though. He tangos up a tree, but with the damage coming out, the body blocks from Ramsey is little with this null talus. But look at the damage, the final swipe. He's gone though. Oh, but he's under ward. Go back and farm this yeah, camp. Oh, oh, no, yes, yes, no. FN jumps forward the glimpse as well into the static storm. That's some much. This guy is tanky though. This guy's tanky. No crush available. Six stick charges, seven stick charges. Gonna pop them, but still die. Really? Battling it out or anything. So Ramsey's up on top lane. Blink dagger's queued up, but Hookshot flies in from Ghosting with a purification and the repel back onto Ramsey's. All of his damage is being drained. 131 gone, and he's got nothing left to give with the glimpse back. No one. Is that him being sent? No, it's someone else. Ghost sticks now inside. Safe zone. FN. Hmm. Oh. Any free heroes here? That stolen uh, Eye of the Storm is actually maybe a little bit too much. The heals from Pasha. I don't think FN can pick this, but now who can come in and help? They have Saxorn back up, and Kingar's nearby. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. They go for all of them at the same time. Well, Lil's going to be the one to fall the first. And now Pasha caught inside the storm still with the damage output. Good enough. FN finds two with the help of King R. Now with no one trapped inside the cogs. This is VP crumbling as Empire set up beautifully with the invades of Storm Spirit right on top. One of their strongest moments. The trouble is they don't, they don't get to Roshan in time. Like, like I think, those items, they make their heroes stronger, but I don't feel like they're team fight winning or game winning items as no one's eh, gonna BKB and run away. Static Storm, not gonna get thrown out or anything just yet. King R's holding on to it. Ramsey jumps in and tries to sprint out, but look at this storm. The hook shot's there. Repel oh, the purification, but the Static Storm is dropped. The Lich is in the back end. He's not gonna be able to do anything, and a BP loses two heroes off the bat with a glimpse turning into three. Team Empire. Ramsey's invis does see Chappie though. And they're all converging he's in onto scary. his position. Oh, he's, he's moved down. He's moved down. The Blink Crush is there. No one runs straight on him. Purification DK oh, now. The Hookshot comes through with the Cogs out as well. Pasha caught in a static storm with Ramsey's as well. The Omni Knight's blown up and in comes the Storm Spirit. The Requiem wound up as well, but this is just not enough damage. They are trying to kill off Ghostic, but it's barely going to tickle him. King R will finally fall to the Shadow Fiend of no one or, or Willy. The Kinetic Field drop. One more punch. Finally gets it down. Oh, Ramsey. But two for two. VP. Oh, Ramsey's just trying to toggle him. Poshka's faking the right clicks on Ogre and then gets a mid toggle. That was so good. And I think the Lich is going to die as well. Ogre on the runaway. No one, no Aegis, no Hurricane Pike. Lil trying to get his teammate out of here. He's got to give himself for this. He's got to run back in. Okay, he's going to allow no one to die. No, he's going back. Telekinesis up and down. No one's still alive. Static link for 20 seconds, but no one still had all of his HP taken out by the Storm Spirit. Sprinting forward and looking for someone to kill, though. Lil. It's the ball lightning. Finds the clockwork and the Requiem from no one. Ghost stick hook shots oh. forward, but it'll drop by no one's raises. The trouble is Chappie is on the run. He's chasing down these heroes in hot pursuit as no one glimpsed back into the Static Storm. Perfect play here, but the GA trying to save them up from Chappie's Razor, but it's the magic dead. damage from the FN! Oh where did he come from? from where, did, where did he go? <laughs> FN is role-playing Cotton Eye Joe at this point. Just zips from halfway across the map. Zero mana remaining, but takes down the Shadow Fiend in one fell swoop. And Ramsey's armor toggles through. Chappie chasing down Bloodlust up on him. And with the Plasma Field, the triple kill goes to Chappie and Ghost Stick. Um, Wait, is this one of the Compendium Wars? Really? God. Zap in. Chappie's in the middle of two sets of cogs and no one's trapped inside of one of them. Lil's already dead and so is Solo. FN has to focus him down though. No one lets out the Requiem, but he's gone. It's a, it's over. GG's called cool, them. Nice isolation. They have no way to deal with a Razor. No one was so well controlled this game too. It's surely going to be some sort of a 2v2 or something anyway. Position 4 Night Stalkers, get level 4 by 4 minutes, start rotating. See if Lil can come close to that mark. It's a nice combo. It's a very nice combo with a Spark Wraith and Kinetic Field comboing up. Yeah. Pasha drops low and dies. Experience and they're going to continue so top two. Gold wise, Francis. kill on TB wise, and then they go. That's thunder. It does, but can he turn and throw it onto anyone? Look at them, look at, look at them. They just turn, they turn, they turn, they run away. They've got the damage from range. 
They're looking for more. The kinetic field the vision. of the treants just stuck. And they're going to try to do the same thing here from the Radiant, but they run into Lil before they run into Ramses. Yeah. Lil's Night Stalker, you can't fly over the field. It's too high. The wall has been built. And in comes the Metamorphosis from TB. Static Storm dropped, and Mephoshka will also fall. King R, oh no one, hello, there's the blink reveal. The upheaval slows them all down. Chappie dropping lower and lower, two more swipes. He's inside the magnetic field, so it's just one more hit, and down he goes with a lasso back. This is VP hitting their stride. They've got a two for four exchange. If they can just finish off Ghost, they get into the trees, find the kill. The TP's cancelled out by the final swipe of no one as death who's brought to the nature's prophet. Look at them. Yeah, They're like man, headless chickens. Up, running in circles. <laughs> Literally just running in circles. It looks like there'll be a go here on Jalil, but it's a jump in from no one. The lasso out from the Batrider as well. There's the Maelstrike and a big old chaotic offering. Static Storm is down, but it doesn't catch on to anyone with the upheaval. Slowing the TA. VP, they're trying to chase down King R, but Pasha dragged back with the glimpse. The fight continues over on the side of FN. Aegis has popped with no blink dagger and a sentry down. I don't think retreat is an option here. Lil Sunder from Ramses keeps his mate alive. The buddy system working out wonders for VP. Finally, a team fight they can call their own. They bust out everything in the kitchen sink, though, to win that. And moving into a BKB. I get the time for VP. Bottom lane. So moving on to the posture, but Ghost Stick sprouts up no one. Silence is in with the Orchid as well, so the BKB is forced to pop, but, but FN has jumped in the lasso with a glimpse. No one dropped, and Tasha stuck here as well with a two times multicast and the trap out, and he's demolished. The melt strike from FN just slaps it in his face. TB illusions are tanky. Difficult to kill, and once he's got their metamorphosis up, they'll look to take a fight. FN might have gone too far forward, but he blinks away very quick. There's a glimpse back on the bat rider, the static storm down onto the TB. Okay, he pops his BKB, and the Poshka drops with the rock now onto FN's head. He's stunned up, he's bashed. His BKB will allow him to run away from no one, though the lasso is now oh, catching onto the Nature's Prophet. Ramses with his double damage rune is running rampant through the ranks of Team Empire. The Observer Ward up on the high ground did Rush spot. Can't, Rush can't hit you. What is this hero? Yeah. What do you do when Roshan dies instantly like that? Aegis goes stick. Cheese goes the way of someone else as well, but evil slows them down. The blink in. Pasha catches one with a stack storm drop. All the damage output from Empire. Look at them go. Ramses holds onto the Sunder though. This BKB Terrorblade from the high ground brings down the pain. But FN, he's got the Death Slater damage. He's got the Mel Strike as well. And Ramses stunned up and chained into death. Ghosting on the front lines, bloodlusted up with a glimpse back, sending no one to safety, apparently. But TA chases down with the traps, and a TB forward from Ghosting. Nature's Prophet will secure yet another kill for Team Empire. Virtus Pro in a lot of trouble right now, Trent. 16,000 net worth lead, but is that one big team fight with Roshan, Aegis, Cheese, and what, a 3,100 net worth swing going the way of Empire? They're breaking high ground, they're taking tier threes, they're looking for kills deep in behind them. Die back. Oh, Solo, see ya, buddy, and with this TB. Oh, Ramses, where's your thunder? There it is. Gets onto Meposhka. The stun's not there in time, but they've got the sprout. He's caught in. He's got no quelling blade. FN jumps in the front lines, and with the damage output, good enough to kill him. It's GG. Game number three of this best of three goes the way of Empire, and they secure the series with a chappy arc warden. Beautiful pick played from Team Empire. I have to man, considering game one, this was looking like it was just going to be a total blowout, wasn't it? You know? Yeah.